It was not like complicated, like introspective psychological stuff. No, no, no. It's just like, CC that work, <laughs> you know? Hi, my name is Peter Kennett, and I am here with Theodore Pellerin and Felix Maritou, the stars of the new film Solo. You both express sort of the art of drag beautifully in this movie. You're both incredible. Um, do you just want to talk a bit about what went into preparing to do this? Like, had you done drag before or you shot this? Like, what was that all like? I think when I was like a, a teenager, I wrote a, a, a drag part for myself in a play that I was doing in school. Um, and I, I think maybe I've always, as an actor, I've always been um, very admiring uh, of actresses, very like just moved by them more so than by actors. And I think that as a man, I was, I, I, maybe I saw drag and drag characters as like the only form that I could interpret femininity yeah. uh, as an actor. And so I, I think there was an element of that attraction that kind of came from, from, from that. And I remember after um, shooting Family First, uh, Sophie's first, Sophie Dupree's the director of Solo, first feature film, she asked me at the rap party um, if there was something I, I wanted to play. And I, 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 I remember saying a drag queen. So it has been part of like my a desire for a while, but I don't think that's what initiated her um, interest in the world. It was completely independent. Um, but it just, it's just funny that it came back years after and with her as well. Was there something that really surprised you about embodying drag and like, and then really sort of doing it on, on camera? That was amazing, actually. Like, uh, it, the, the first time I came on stage to play um, a drag show, there was like those um, silhouettes and people from queer community coming to cheer up. And that was amazing as a feeling, like you, you feel like a goddess giving like power to a lot of like, I don't know, lost child of the society. It's so empowering and beautiful, you know, it's like, a, yeah. it's really like a rush. Yeah, and there was something also special about finding our own, well, I'm talking for myself, finding my own femininity through like the, the, the work that we did with Gerard Reyes, the choreographer and the coach who helped us, you know, walk in heels um, and, and find a feminine sensuality in our bodies. And I, I think kind of developing um, that persona, but that was really a part of us. I think it had to be kind of, came from within. Um, and taken to a satirical clown kind of femininity, you know, but there also had to be a femininity, a femininity infused in um, our characters in their daily lives. They value themselves through that, they, um, they uh, express themselves through that, and it's very foundational for them, um, which is why that space of drag becomes so important, so liberating. So, yeah, it, it, it's been kind of a liberating experience as well. In the film, your characters um, not only sort of have a romance, but you are sort of, a, you have a duet sort of situation going on. So you kind of had to build that together. What was that like sort of building this like, you know, uh, sort of dual energy of, of two queens performing together who also well, are like in love with each other? Yeah, well, it was, it, it felt very natural because Sophie gives um, a very particular space to her actors and her collaborators, but mostly her actors. Mm. Um, when uh, Felix got to Montreal in December, we started shooting in February. Um, he got to Montreal in December and immediately we started meeting with Sophia, the three of us, and kind of going through the script and rewriting things and improvising and really researching and um, that's what she wants. So there's already that kind of collaboration that is put in place and that space for us to meet and develop mm -hmm. a dialogue and develop a dialogue as actors and, 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 and people. And so we, uh, we already are exploring um, the dynamics of the relationship, the highs and the lows. and. So then when we start working on the numbers, we're already weighted by all this, um, this work that we've done together. It's not like we're meeting each other on set and uh, we're, we have to build a relationship out of nothing. A, a relationship has been built. This space has been given to us. And that is very special to Sophie's process, I think, mm -hmm. which is kind of similar to a theater one. And we had lots of fun yeah. doing it. It like, looked like you did. It was like a really joyful moment, all this like meetings where 
we were talking about our lives, life of the character, visions we had and desires we had. Like it was a lot of sharing and, give, and creating a trust process that helped us. I mean, that definitely comes across. The film is just, you know, beautiful in every way. Like the, the set design, the costumes, everything. It feels like it really feels cohesive in a way mm. that, you know, not all films do. Mm. Because everybody was uh, looked with uh, the, um, the best vision, uh, that's Sophie's strength. She can watch you as your best mm -hmm. and you become your best mm -hmm. in this vision mm -hmm. because she's the director, you know? That's, yeah. that's magic. So obviously, you know, drag has found its way into mainstream in really big ways. What do you feel like this film is sort of trying to say about what it means to exist as a drag artist? Yeah, as we're not facing a problematic of their sexual orientation or their gender. Um, or their art form, is we're just following them. Yeah. So we're kind of depoliticizing the whole uh, thing, which I think can be interesting because they, they don't have to always be um, weighed down by um, what they represent in other people's eyes. I think they're just existing as themselves and maybe it's a little refreshing. If it's not a, more powerful that way sometimes, yeah. I feel. Yeah. It's about intimacy, actually. It's a film about like a love relationship, like with like feelings and things that happen. The whole movie is about that, like uh, how to receive an experience of a queer love story. But it's a love story. It's uh, the drag scene on the movie is just like the the context of it. But it's not like a, a purpose about drag. It's just drag exists, wh whatever people want it or not. Like it's a, a really beautiful form of art and creation and expression, but the movie is about love. It's about how you deal with falling in love and uh, making it bad. <laughs> <laughs> This film is coming out at a time when drag is very much sort of under attack in, in a way that like is really unfortunate because it feels like we're going backwards. Um, was that something that was sort of in mind for, for Sophie or for either of you as you were making this film, that this is sort of coming out at a time where... But we weren't in that time when oh, we shot the movie. Okay. It had, I mean, drag was only taking more and more space and becoming more and more mainstream, and it, there was not that kind of backlash that we're in now. So it was kind of uh, surprising uh, to find the movie being released in such a different political climate um, concerning drag and trans people. Okay, well, then keeping that in mind, then what do you feel as it's coming out in that climate, what do you hope people take from it? Joy, love, and affection. Yeah. <laughs> like, what does it deserve? And the people that can't catch it, it's... It's a movie about love. It's a movie on family. It's a movie about creation. Um, if, you know, that's the heart of it. And it's great, I mean, if it can have a reach and if it can be part of a, a moving forward. Um, but as Felix said, it's, it's for people. It's for, it's, for, it's for everyone. It's very universal themes. Um, so, yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's a joyful way to make people have a time for themselves and release their emotions. That's what cinema is. Yeah. So we just made a film, and now uh, people, they're going to catch what they want about that. But I think we made a really generous film. I agree, and I'm really excited for audiences all over to, to experience that joy and that love and that family that they're going to feel when they see this film. So congratulations. Thank you thank very you. much. And thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you. Three, two, one.